Kevin Comiskey here from County Leitrim, uh, North Leitrim we're in at the moment. This new national chairman was the vice chairman of the Sheep Committee. It all started off here at my local branch in 2016 where I was elected county representative at that stage. I went on then to the National Sheep Committee. 2017 I was elected vice chairman and progressed from there to January of this year and I was humbled to get all the support of the the committee. I suppose we're farming here in North Leitrim as in an, any other county but especially here in North Leitrim you know we, we face even more difficult challenges than a lot of counties but the main one at the moment I suppose is the, the d attacks on sheep by dogs and the whole the whole issue of dog control. Since I became chairman I've got numerous calls from right across the country from Wexford, Dublin, over as far as Mayo and, and recently here we had a, a horrendous attack here in, in North Leitrim with a, a colleague's uh, sheep was killed there on St Stephen's Day, 25 sheep was attacked and killed, uh, 65 sheep was actually attacked and 25 of them killed and the farmer said on the, that he got the dogs at the time the, pro, the whole uh, flock would have been wiped out so we're looking to meet Minister McConnell Logue and Minister Heather Humphreys to, to get legislation put in place, full national database set up for, for the dogs. Uh, proper sanctions and controls put in place to get you know to the microchip and the license of dogs and the whole control of dogs and it's a big issue as well on hills and and where you have walkways and all that and people go out walking with their dogs and they're of this opinion that the pets won't go near sheep and that but it's the natural instinct of the dog to to kill and when he gets roaming and gets out free in the mountains or the hills so that's why we relaunched our, our campaign there just over a week ago the no dogs allowed and that's where we stand at the minute that uh, we have to take that stance that there's no dogs allowed because uh, with the whole legislation the way it is at the moment since i became i went on the committee uh, up on six years ago now and it's there it's always on the agenda one of my main ambitions this year is to to get it off the agenda to get it sorted out once and for all you know to to get these sanctions and, and get things put in place because farmers just cannot keep going you know, going in, a man rang me from Wexford there last week. He had his triplet Joe's that was carrying triplets into the separated in the shed, and an Alsatian dog went in and attacked them and killed them. And he had no other option, and he shook the dog. And the dog wasn't microchipped, he had no traceability. He ended up with dead sheep and a dead dog. And like that's a horrendous situation to be in for any farmer. One of the areas we're looking at is the whole collapse in the wool trade, and we're looking to meet with Minister Pippa Hackett on that to get funding and some recognition in it and some payment for the farmer towards the wool industry. So we have to meet with her and get the farmer has to be recognised and compensated on that. The price of wool is, is very bad. It's on the floor at the minute. It's nothing very, you know, you get nothing for it. It has been heading that direction for the last number of years. And we have, like, there's plenty of opportunities there. The feasibility study was supposed to be done and carried out. I think, you know, with insulation and they're talking about, you know, retrofitting houses and all that and there's no mention of the, the wool and how what impact the wool could have for that. So there's plenty of options and opportunities out there could be looked into and sourced. The, the price of lamb, while it's just static at the minute, I'd be hoping that it will move on forward coming on to the, the spring lamb and that, that we'll, we'll see a bit of an increase in it. I'd have a good outlook, I'd be optimistic for the price of lamb, but it, what it, it, it came from a very bad place, so it's, it's only up to where it should be. You know, I'd be, I'd be hopeful that the, the price will increase in the, in the future.